kids miss kulkarni here in this video we are going to discuss development of new medicinal drugs what are the steps in developing a new drug and it's a tedious long process and also quite expensive so what are the steps in research development and drug design the number one step is always identifying a lead compound and that will lead to drug discovery the next one comes designing for the drug or the family of the drugs the next one is either isolation or chemical synthesis and obtaining the pure drug then scientists need to conduct some studies in the labs and also they need to find out ld50 some preclinical studies and these must be done as per the regulations and then there are some post clinical studies which are also called as phase 4 trials and that gives you the final approval by fda so you can sell that drug in market now let's discuss each of the step in little bit more depth the first one is about the lead compound or drug discovery what is it it is the process in which we identify a compound which shows a positive effect on certain medical condition once we have a lead compound we can actually design the drug based upon the structure of lead compound and we can use software like molecular modeling and screen the compounds we can also synthesize multiple compounds in short period of time by using the method of combinatory chemistry moving forward we can also use extraction method or isolation of the chemical by using natural product chemistry or we can actually use organic chemistry reaction and conduct chemical synthesis and obtain the desired compound once we have pure compound isolated or synthesized we conduct studies in the lab we test those in cells and in animal tissues and we find out ld50 value once that is done we move on to preclinical and clinical testing phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 it's very important for us to know the lethal dose which may kill 50% of the subjects in the testing group there is ed50 which tells you the concentration of the dose which is effective in 50% of the testing group and then there is td50 which gives you the concentration of the drug causing toxic levels there is also the therapeutic index which is the ratio of td50 to ed50 and a therapeutic window which provides you the safe margin range of a drug dosage now how do the clinical tests really work we must perform multiple times clinical testing in order for us to get reliable data and to get it approved also most of the time the clinical test are done with a double blind study in which the researcher as well as the patients do not know if they are getting real drug or a placebo so here is the snapshot of phase trials phase 1 is usually conducted on small number of healthy volunteers and what is the main result we look for we look for the toxicity we look for the side effects in phase 2 trials we still have small number of patients and which test results we are collecting we are looking for the effectiveness of the medicine so we find out ed50 or effective dosage and we also identify any other side effects because of the medicine phase 3 needs to be conducted with a large number of patients and test results must be focused mostly in comparing the drug with the others which are in market for toxicity effectiveness etc and also we need to make sure we obtain all the safety information and side effects in detail because this is the trial which will mainly decide if 
the compound which you made or isolated is going to move on as a pharmaceutical drug. Now remember there are also some post-clinical studies or we call as phase 4 trials. And if everything looks good and satisfactory, the drug gets approved by FDA and it is available for sale in market. So I guess we just found out the entire process by which a new medicine, a new pharmaceutical drug can be brought into market. And although the drug is in market, it's bound to have some sort of side effects. So the doctors need to keep this in mind before they prescribe the medicine to their patients. Every medicine should be given, prescribed by considering risk to benefit ratio. So only if the benefits of that medicine seem to be higher than the risk factors, then the doctor will be prescribing that medicine. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.